In the last exercise, we noted that every object eventually inherits from uh, the object, or every class, I should say, eventually inherits from the object class. And the object class is the sort of great ancestor of all objects. Again, looking at this inheritance setup, child, which we had set up as inheriting from parent, its basis attribute shows this. But all the other classes that we're looking at, parent, stir, and you'll find that list, dict, and all these other uh, classes that you're already familiar with, all inherit from object. Now, we uh, have established that inheriting means that you can use the attributes of the parent. Look at this simple example where we're calling do, which is a parent method, on a child object. This means that if we inherit from a class, we can use its attributes, its variables, the variables that were defined in that class. So if every class eventually inherits from object, what does object contain? In this exercise, we're looking at the directory for object. You may, may remember dir. Dir shows us the attributes that are available for an object. And this includes any methods that might be available. This is a listing of the attributes that are available to every single object in Python. Why every single object? Because as we said, every object or every class inherits from object eventually, which means that they get to inherit these attributes. Now, going through all these attributes would be more than we need right now. Uh, some of them involve documentation, built-in documentation, um, uh, and there are others as well. But there's one here that I want to emphasize because we're going to use it in the homework, and that's the stir attribute. We're going to use the string method. This is actually a method, and we're going to see how this string method works. And then we'll come back to this idea of inheriting from object and understand exactly why and what it means to have the string method, this is the stir method, in the object's attributes, the object class attributes.